Hey everybody! I have a new haul for you guys today. Actually, in my head, what's running right now is, it's been a long time, and I left you without a dope haul to step to, step to, step to, ticka, 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 step to. I'm listening to 90s songs because I just started making musicallys for like the first time like whenever I get ready I just like film a musically during the process and so now every day I like when I go run with data I'm like okay could I do a musically to this like what style would I do it's become like a little hyper addiction it's just fun right it's a different channel it's trying something new so I find myself uh, <laughs> just like thinking a lot about it and I love music anyway into the hall Today's haul is a really super, super, super affordable Amazon haul. And when I say affordable, most of the stuff in this haul will be under $20. So I kind of put that cap on me when I was picking things out. There are a couple items that I purchased that are above $20, um, but I'm just including them because the only way I can get like all the Amazon stuff in one haul and it's like convenient, right? But for the most part, under 20 bucks. With that, let's jump in. So the first item gets like a bad rap in the plus world. It is a Moo Moo or a caftan, whatever you want to call it. It does have a waist drawstring so you can define the waist. It's in this really cool orange, pink, and maroon print. And I found this store on Amazon. They are an Indian goods store and they sell all different types of these caftans and a bunch of different prints. They're lightweight cloth and honestly, for like 15 to 20 bucks, you can get a really cute cover up for far cheaper and actually a little bit better quality than some of the same version of like this caftan I've seen in the more expensive sites. The fabric itself feels like a cotton that's gonna dry out pretty quick. It's a little bit harsher. It is gonna take a little bit of um, washing, but it's just like it's typical caftan is sewn down the sides um, with an opening slit at the bottom. I think this is awesome, a super bargain really cute really nice and had like tons and tons of prints so I'll put this one down there but we'll also put a lot of the other prints they had because I was just like shocked at how many options there were I wanted to check it out first and now that I'm seeing the quality you guys will see how it looks on me um I'm excited about it so yeah there you go well ladies and gentlemen this is a bar let me talk about a couple reasons why. The chest is not long enough to support a plus size person's body curve outwards, so it's sitting like mid breast line for me. The arms are pretty small, and it's pretty small down here at the hips. I'm just sad because I really like the pattern, but it is not good. The next item is this like orange dress that is kind of off the sleeve-ish, kind of not. It's got a weird armhole. I picked it because of the color, because this is like a great summer color. It is a fit and flare. I'm looking at it right now. I believe I got this in a 3X and it's from Posh Square. FYI, I've bought things from Posh Square before on Amazon. They generally have true to size and good items. So I'm just throwing that out there because I remembered that. I also love their tags because on the back it says life short, be posh. So I found with them, the items are usually fairly good quality and consistently sized. So we're seeing here that we have this like lovely coral color, A-line, probably about two to three inches above the knee, so a little bit on the shorter side. It's a pretty thick um, like fabric. It's mostly polyester with a little bit of rayon, but it's definitely thicker than some of the other polyester dresses you can get from uh, Amazon and definitely like a nicer fabric feel. And I just thought, you know, summer, simple, solid color dresses with basic silhouettes, it's like always a go-to in the summer. So I'm kind of excited about this one. I'm a little worried about this armhole because I just, it feels weird. But it could look great on, I just, I don't know. I'm not like experienced in this hole. <sighs> Guys, I just realized I left my AC on the whole time I was filming, so sorry for the background buzz. I like didn't even think about it, cause I'm an idiot. And now I'm just gonna leave it on for continuity. Deal with it. I love the color of the dress. I don't hate the arms, I was nervous about them. It is on the shorter side, but I think with a little bicycle short, this could be really cute, or even with crop capri leggings. It's inexpensive and it fits really nicely up here, so I feel like it would be worth it to make it work. Bada bow, bada bow, bada bow, bada bow. I don't even know, I'm like, how do I get forward? 
Next is from another brand that 90% of the time is good, but sometimes is oh so bad, which is, I think it's Regina, it could be Regna, times Boho. I've done a couple other things in their haul, uh, in other hauls before. This is a blue maxi dress. I think the color is also super fun for spring and summer. It is a fairly basic silhouette. You've got the little keyhole in the back, but I think it's like what every girl kind of needs in her wardrobe is a good maxi. When we get down to the bottom, it's got a fun little ruffle bottom, a little bit of a high-low going on. So it's gonna add a little bit more visual interest being a little bit more than just a basic dress. Throw on a cute little belt at the waist and you kind of have like a amazing little look that's super easy and super cheap. I'm also gonna show you guys some belts I got because that is my summer aesthetic, summer dress, coordinating belt, boom, out the door. So that, I thought about that when I was purchasing these things. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be one of those dresses that you guys love and I hate. Um, I wanted it to be like flowy at the bottom and it's definitely more fitted. It's like a straight cut versus like a lot of maxis that have like more room here. I just don't feel very comfortable in it and when I'm wearing a maxi like it's implied laziness. Like it's like I wanted to be in pajamas but I put on this dress that's kind of like pajamas to show you I cared. Whereas this feels like I would be actually getting ready, which is not what I want in a maxi dress at all. The next item is this off the shoulder navy dress. This is definitely off the shoulder. It has um, just a little ruffle that goes around. The fabric feels interessante. I can't place what it is. It is not super thin polyester. It's not thick like the one I just showed you guys from Posh Square. This is polyester and, and elastostane or spandex. Uh, it's spelled spandex, which is <laughs> my fabric of choice because I'm spendy. <laughs> All right, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. It's just one of those dresses I just don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. It does have a straighter cut. I wish it was a little bit more A-line at the bottom, but this could look amazing on me or it could just look meh. I, I don't really know. So. It's super basic, but it fits me really, really well. And there's nothing wrong with something that's basic and looks amazing. So this is on the thinner side. This is also from Regna whatever times Boho. I got it because I really liked this double strap detail in the front and the crisscross. I thought that was really cute, really sweet. Definitely in line with the 90s feel. This is gonna be probably fairly short on me. Looking at the length here, you can see it's pretty short. So I thought this would actually be really cute over a pair of like cropped leggings. I do that a lot in the summer just because, you know what, like, I'm a like, I'm a gutsy, gonna do whatever I feel like girl. And so like, I don't like to worry about showing things. It's not that I'm afraid to wear short things. When I go out, I will wear short things, but in the summer, there's just something about like a pair of bicycle shorts or a pair of leggings under a dress. So I can just like, I wanna do that to a stranger, I can and I am guarded. My cardinal treasure is guarded. Nobody's getting in the palace. It's a chastity belt of capris. Anyway, I just love the color of it and so I'm hoping that it fits well. It is on the thinner side but not so thin, it still feels a little bit nicer. It's not like that super, super thin. It's polyester and elastane, and yeah, that is that is it. But I do love that little neck detail, isn't that fun? And that's so special, that's so special. This is why you should try everything on, because I thought this was gonna be super, super short, but this actually isn't that short. I feel like I could wear this just fine without any shorties. No problem, just cute. Babe in pink. I got it. It's all my face now. Anyway, so lavender is the color of the season. I'm currently putting together a lavender look. That is why I picked this shirt out. This is from a brand called Agnes Arinda. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from that store on Amazon. It's got the ruffles down the front, a little bit of a ruched yoke in the back, a little bit of a puff sleeve, and then down to a three quarter mutton sleeve. Like this is definitely trying to give more volume in the sleeve. Let me tell you what I like about it. The arms look 
like they're going to be fairly sized for a plus person, which in these types of shirts is like a massive issue on Amazon. Like I've ordered so many items where the, the like the rest of the shirt is super huge and then the arm is like the size of a cardboard tube for toilet paper. And I'm like, what like plus woman has Barbie arms? Like who thought that up? Who's like, oh, I know the typical body size of a plus person, huge butt, huge boobs, toilet paper tube arms. But it happens all the time, drives me nuts. Big arms ain't causing no harm to nobody. Give us the people what we want. Anyway, so. It's got a Dobby collar here, which is an interesting addition. I don't know why they didn't just leave it an open yak, but it does have this Dobby collar. And then it comes down into a ruffle in the front with a little bit of a pussy bow here. Not huge, just like a little pussy bow. Here's the thing that bugs me a little bit. I hate when things are finished like this, where it's just like a loop around the fabric. I feel like it looks cheap. Everything they said about this shirt is a lie. Fat girl in a little shirt. Fat girl in a little shirt. It may look okay on camera, but I literally feel like at any time I'm gonna hulk out of this shirt. It's gonna be like, and everything's gonna explode. And I'm gonna have dents in my wall from how hard the fabric is flying off my body. I have to literally move like this. Like, I can't, like, that's as close as I can get in. <laughs> Imagine if I like tried to wear this for the day. I think it's also because my arms are too long for it. Domo Aripa. It's really great for the robot. It makes it a lot easier to do the robot. See, you can find a positive in anything. Next I got because it reminded me of old ladies who drink at a bar and talk about their young lovers. It's a cheetah print dress. It's mostly so I can be like, hi, my name's Esther. Are you single? Oh man, it's my future. Um, it's my future right now dress. So, it is like a cheetah print, leopard print, animal of the jungle print dress. It is kind of about knee length, a little bit of an A-line, a faux wrap. Again, this is a solid skirt. There's actually no wrap, but just a faux wrap at the top. It is thinner polyester, but actually fairly nicely constructed. A little surprised here. Thought it was gonna be crap. This is from a company called Star Vixen. While I wait to become Beverly, I can be Star Vixen. Okay, I know I was making sassy comments about this dress when I was opening it, but <laughs> this is really cute. Cheetah print might be my thing. Okay, this is in the super crappy light polyester, which I make exceptions for because I find these dresses always look really good on me. So I'm always hating on them when I feel the fabric and then I put them on, I'm like, okay, you get a pass. So I'm gonna not be super angry. And also all of this is under $20, so you're gonna have to take the good with the bad here, right? So far, we've been pretty good, but this is, this is that lighter cut fabric. It is a one shoulder, ruched at the top, ruched at the side dress and a lovely bright blue because it just makes my eyes pop. And it's, it's definitely knee length and it's gonna hug every curve. What is that? <laughs> like, I can't get out, help. Um, but yeah, it's a sexy dress. I'm bringing sexy back, yep. See, I told you how these dresses work. They're super thin fabric, but then they look freaking amazing on. Look at that. Da -da 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 boom. <laughs> this dress has got some meaty weight to it. Very impressed by the meaty weight of it. It's in a periwinkle blue. And it has box pleats here at the waist, a little notched neckline here some nice little shaping at the bust, and it's obviously an A-line because of the box pleats. Things you have to worry about is the box pleat. If you are larger at the waist, it will stretch the block box pleat out. Uh, sometimes when they're lower, I get that problem with hips. Like, so for example, if it's like a drop waist dress, it's always gonna look virtually terrible on me. It's always gonna look like my hips are trying to escape the nuclear apocalypse or something, and they're just like fighting to get through the jungle that is the box pleats. 
just watch that with box pleats wherever it's falling you need to make sure it's your smallest part and that you're gradually going out because if you go at a larger part or if it gets um, too big too fast from that point it will just pull the box pleat and look terrible and actually this one might do that to me so you'll get to see it maybe live in action on the left screen maybe not I don't know because I haven't tried any of this on remember what I talked about with box pleats it's a hundred percent happening here also I did not realize this dress is high low and it makes me hate it like what? no this I've had this in my car for a while and I feel confused by it it's one of those dresses that you're supposed to be able to wear like 80 different ways or at least the girl on the picture thing has all these different ways of wearing it but to me when I hold it up it's like ruffly top with some armholes there's my armhole and like a ruched bottom I feel like there's like two ways to wear this strapless over your sleeves but I feel like I will look and try to be creative but it's confusing a little dress this number it is the mid-rate polyester uh, looks sewn pretty well it's not as like thin as the one previously but not as thick as some of the ones we saw earlier in the haul but it still feels pretty nice the seaming is a little wonky <laughs> it's definitely not straight that's gonna drive me nuts I should have looked on the other one but like it was literally like hi I just had a lot to drink while I was doing this so yeah the seaming's not great but again this is twenty dollars on underwear people have a heart understand that when you pay twenty dollars or under you sacrifice a little quality well guys you are seeing the lovely top of this dress because I can't get the bottom part over my hips so, and all I can think is they're gonna be like step into the dress so then I did it and a fit next is a white dress it's a nice day for a white dress again wow it kind of washes me out with this white has a little bit of a gray tone to it you can see here not all colors look right on me it is like washing me out a little giving me like an ashy look to my face it's not cute so this probably will not be kept but it might look great on somebody else there i think there are some other colors too it has a wrap the top is sewn which i don't love because i like the option to be a little el scandalo but um you know, if someone's trying to force piety on me, I'll take it, I guess. It has a little ruffle down the front. It's like a faux wrap again, and it's a straight white column dress. No slits or anything else. This is the super um, thin stretch, so I think you're gonna be able to see everything through it. Honestly, it's white. Can you see my face? I don't know, because I can't see the camera when it's there, but it's. I feel like this is gonna be a hard one to wear clothes without it showing but maybe it can be styled in a way where you can see it or maybe you can just get another color where that doesn't matter but we'll see we'll see what it looks like on it looks way better on than I thought it would be I think if I changed my makeup a little bit bit it would look less like paled out but I don't think you can see it. I have cream colored shorties under this and it seems to hide it so I guess if you use whatever shade would nude would be for you obviously based on your skin tone I think it should be okay but I'm not 100% maybe you guys are seeing something different than what I'm seeing because I'm just like looking in that camera so maybe you're like girl no we can see everything but from here looks good um the last items I have are not under $20 but they are really amazing and I've been wearing them so I wanted to show you guys them it's the core 10 line which Amazon just launched which is their own fitness wear line it's really solid I'm in love with this sports bra you've actually if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I've been wearing it quite a lot I just like that it's got some great strapping in the back it's really supportive and it's supportive without feeling like I'm wearing like 18 layers on my chest I don't know why but a lot of the plus bras feel like they have a lot of extra coverage that I don't necessarily want I'm running in the Sun because I want to get some color and the tans from like the plus bras is like the entire top half of my body is white like it's sad when I can like find a pair of shorts to run in but I can't find like a, a bra that doesn't like go up to my neckline that also supports me so I was actually really excited to find this and the print is really cute it's little stars so I love a sports bra because mostly because I love the straps in the back and because it's super supportive but strappy back for the win 
And the leggings I wanted to show you guys too because of the unique front. So I got a different type of front that I've ever had in a, a pair of pants. I think these are inside out. I wore them, I've actually worn them like three times. I've run in them like, yeah. Whenever it's a little cooler, I've been running in them or if I get up mornings and run. And these have this really cool cross front. And what I like about this cross front is if you are a pear shape or an hourglass shape, it like comes in a little bit the waist cause it's like crossing like this. So it actually supports my waist and hips a little bit better than some of the other pairs of pants I've worn. Uh, I was really surprised cause when I put it on, it felt like the, the front was always falling, but it wasn't falling. It's just cause it's dipped like that. So once I got used to it and like retrained my brain to not be like psychotic about it, I fell in love with them because I just feel like it stays on my waist better, it supports my butt better. So the leggings, like I said, they have this dip in the front, which feels really weird in the beginning, but then like curves in and grabs your waist. I feel better for a pair and an hourglass. So a couple more things. One of the things I've been looking at is belts. I found a couple different belts that are really affordable that I was like, okay, I'm gonna share these with people because I feel like we get hosed on belts. There's just like not a lot of cute belt options. The first one is this white one. It's got like a faux leather little thing and then like a little latch and close like that. Uh, and it's elastic, so it kind of, it gives you a lot of like room. I feel like a lot of different sizes could wear this, but just showing you guys what it looks like, it's a super cute way to like finish off a little dress. And it's not too much color, it's also lighter. So like a lot of times when you're wearing like pale pinks and lavenders and colors like that, like you can't wear a black belt. It like changes the style. I mean, you can wear it, but it limits your style options. And I thought this was a cute, really like affordable white belt to add to your wardrobe with just a little bit of pinaz, but not too much. This one is from Grace Karen. She sounds like she writes romance novels. This is a chunky brown belt, as you can see. Oh, also really nice stretch. Ooh, this one's really cute. I love this. This comes in a whole bunch of colors too. It was really highly rated by everybody who had it, but I'm like really into it. Let me show you the pattern here. So it's got this faux leather braid across the front on both sides, just a standard elastic across the back. And then it closes with like a loop over, kind of similar to how the other one closed, just like a different style of closure. But again, it's a, a loop in. So there's no adjustableness. It's like one size fits all. You order your size and you hope that it fits all of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last belt. It's adorable and I really hope it fits. We've got some adorable little daisy closure here. Again, that snap clutch. I will note just from the like width of the belt, it's a little bit less than the other two. So you might be a little bit more limited in who can wear this. I have about a size 20, 22 waist. Sometimes I purchase a 24 for my thighs. Uh, actually, I always purchase a 24 in pants, but in skirts, I'm usually in between a 28. 22 usually, uh, but my waist itself is actually smaller. So I have no problem in this. I feel like you could probably get up to size 24 in this belt, but past that, I think you'd be a little hard pressed. I think it's adorable. I'm so glad it fit. And it's just like these really cute little daisies. Sorry, isn't that kind of creepy? Anyway, I really like it. The last item that I purchased were these. Um, I just thought they looked cool. They were like $15 and I had really no reason to purchase them. But I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just buy things because I want to be cool. And these made me feel cool. Okay guys, that is my Amazon haul. That is all of it. Links to everything are down in the description box, as per usual. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, you can click subscribe. Help a girl out. With that, we'll check you later. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and peace. If you could feel the way this shirt makes me feel then you probably couldn't deal with the way you feel inside. Miss, if you could feel the way this shirt makes me feel, 
You'd be sad because your ideal dream outfit had died. Cause this shirt makes you cry. Way to end a haul on high note.